वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आई एम सोनमय आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय चैनल केमिस्ट्री एंड मिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस बैक स्ट्रेन और बी स्ट्रेन ओके दिस बैक स्ट्रेन और बी स्ट्रेन यूटिलाइज्ड इन सब्स्टिट्यूशन रिएक्शन ओके एंड फॉर दैट पर्पस वी हैव चोजन अ हाइड्रोलाइसिस रिएक्शन इन 80% एक्वस एसिटोन ओके from this you can uh, clearly see that actually the reaction is para nitro benzoate hydrolysis okay hydrolysis of para nitro benzoate and the substitution center is this one okay so here substitution is changed from substitution is changed at this center and ultimately hydrolysis occur in presence of 80% aqueous acetone so what is the product so we'll draw at this situation i want to mention you that such type of understanding is very important why because if you have proper understanding about strengths then you will be able to solve a problem or a unknown problem given to you otherwise it will be very difficult to get already known questions in the exam so i suggest you please learn try to understand this this is easy if you understand i shall try to explain it very easily okay so let's start so here this hydrolysis is happening in presence of 80% aqueous acetone aqueous acetone and what is actually produced in this reaction the product is nitro benzoate or more specifically if we say para nitro benzoate okay why this is chosen because this benzoate is stable due to the resonance with this ring additionally this nitro group also helps to stabilize the charge so that is the main uh, point of taking this para nitro benzoate or in short we can write this as a pnb thing and after that it produces a substituted product that is so this with since it is hydrolysis so ultimately it will be oh r1 r2 r3 and from previous uh, substitution reaction video i have explained that sn2 reaction follows through a trigonal bipyramidal geometry so uh, the crowd of this or size of this r2 R three and R uh, R R two R two R three and R one plays an important role. If these are bulky enough, then reaction follows SN one pathway instead of SN two because the bulkness is less. As the SN one reaction involve a carbocation intermediate R one R two R three carbocation and this is the p orbital and the probability of attack of nucleophile. is equal from both side this is same, same size low should be same size okay so this is a carbocation form right now you can see what is the difference here the difference is that here methyl group is there one here three are methyl here one methyl is substituted by tertiary butyl and another case here three groups are substituted by this tertiary butyl so in the example third the bulkness is extremely high okay and here not so what happens this follows sn1 reaction so this much clear okay now situation is that if we consider the relative rate here one here is 4.4 and here is 13500 it's tremendously high the question is why on that factor will be explained based on the b strain or the x strain so if you see it produces a tertiary butyl carbocation this produces this butyl tertiary butyl and this methyl it is all three are all three are and this is tri tertiary butyl carbocation what do i mean these are all a methyl group 
So this is so all are tertiary carbocation. We know that tertiary carbocation are stable. So these all are tertiary carbocation. Now the question: Why this abnormally high reaction rate? Because initially this group. Due to the three tertiary butyl present, this has a tremendous steric repulsion. Here, the steric repulsion is there but less, relatively. And among these, this has a minimum steric repulsion. So, main background point is steric repulsion. So, that increases uh, the energy of the reactant or that less sterilizes. So, if we Think this factor in uh, from an energy diagram. If we try to draw, then it will look like intermediate. That is a carbocation may be close in case of three. In case of three, the intermediate energy are almost close because because it is at one twenty degree. Here angle is one twenty degree. In every case, one twenty degree. So angle strain is released, but depends on the starting material because here. It is one zero nine amp. Actually, it is not. But since it is sp three, I am uh, accepting that it is near about one zero nine degree. Okay. So the difference here it is more statically crowded, so less stable. So less stable means energy will be higher. It is energy axis. So this is the example three. Okay. Compared to this, this is relatively less. So example two. This is two. This is one, and this is three. So, and below is one. Get got it? So, from the to the to achieve the conversion of this one to two to three. So, this, this, and this. The corresponding energy of activation in this case is suppose E three delta E three. This is in case of two is let's consider delta E two and this let's consider here. So this is around delta E one. So here you can see the energy of activation value is higher here. So automatically rate will be slower. But here this. So this factor is called back strain. In summary, the strain. Inside the molecule before the reaction, such that the molecule became activated for the reaction. Okay. Okay. So let's discuss with an another example. Okay. Let this. Let's discuss the another example where this backstrain factor is explained based on a ring system, or more specifically, we say adamantane ring system. So why adamantane is so much? Why adamantane is so much important here? Because you can see this adamantane is a cage type molecule. Okay, cage type molecule. And so, okay, let me draw this adamantane here. Uh, try to learn this adamantane drawing is easier if you know properly. First, draw a cyclohexane ring with chair conformation. Okay, and in case of adamantane, this. Actual thing will form the cyclohexane ring. So first form this cyclohexane, join this. Okay. So this is the adamantane. And another thing, all are one zero nine point eight degree. So here this O P N B. P N B means para nitro benzoate. Just I have explained. So this is the R. And you can see one thing that this R has a one three diaxial interaction. What do I mean? Means this hydrogen and this hydrogen, this diaxial. So this R has one three diaxial interaction with this hydrogen. So, so from this it is expected that if the bulkness around the R is increases, then the stability or ground state stabilization of this molecule will be uh, ground state stabilization will be less. And actually, this is the fact which you can observe here. When R is equal to methyl, then one three diaxial interaction between this methyl and this two hydrogen, then relative rate is actually it's a relative rate. Okay. So if we consider the R methyl is equal to two, then based on that things are calculated. So and if instead of methyl, if we consider CH two CH three, then 
then also there it will improve in, in enhance because of this methane and enhancing 15.4 when this is uh, neopentyl this group is actually called neopentyl so when this is neopentyl what do i mean means ch2 and tertiary butyl okay when this is neopentyl then also okay fine actually this hydrogen is parallel to this r means this methyl so there is a slight enhancement in interaction this and so the value increases from 15.4 to 20.4 now the twist appears what if this r is you can see this is isopropyl means ch M -E -M. What is the difference of, of these ice neopentyl versus isopropyl? The thing is that here this carbon actually facing interaction one third axial. Previously we have increased the bulk place of the next carbon that is this carbon. But right now directly bulk place is increasing on this carbon. So dimethyl. So see the rate enhancement from 20.4 to 67. And the most important thing, when this isopropyl is converted into tertiary butyl group, so this carbon has a maximum bulkness, so that time rate is 10 to the power 5 order extremely high. Why? Because this, I, this tertiary butyl group is facing extremely one three diaxial interaction, so the energy of the ground state is increases high. Second point, when this OPMP leaves. What is produced? When this OPMP leaves, it produced a carbocation. So again, I suggest you to observe the drawing. Okay. So this is hydrogen 1,3 diaxial. This is. And after the elimination of this OPMP, OPMP is less than stabilized. So it will, R should remain here. And there will be a carbocation because this is a trash this is a tertiary carbocation. Okay. So here it is it, it will be SN SN1. Okay. Because it's a tertiary bulk, and second thing, backside attack is not possible. Why? Because backside of this bond is this. So one three diaxial interaction, the incoming nucleophile need to face one three diaxial interaction. Using with this, this. So, and another thing, this side also not possible because it's a cage structure. So, backside attack is not possible in case of adamant and ring system. Okay. Okay. I guess you understood. But right now, and another thing we know that carbocations are sp3 hybrids. Previously, this angle was right 109 degree around, but right now it is 120 degree. So, the actual thing should look like this. Then this angle is around 120 degree. Okay, so right now you can see relief of strain here. Relief, relief of strain is ob is obtained after this elimination. So when a strain relief really possible after elimination, then it will be prone to uh, relief the strain and prone to relief the strain. How to get the relief? By elimination of this OPNB. So, what does it mean that OPNB elimination will be easier? And actually, this is happening, which is reflected by this rate. So, now I guess you can understand how this elimination, how this elimination is enhanced in presence of this tertiary butyl group. So, this phenomena clearly indicate that if the ground state energy is enhanced like that energy curve I have given in case of the first example. So the corresponding energy of activation decreases. Consequently, rate in this way, this rate of rate of solvolysis increases. Okay, so it is also, so what we have learned, we have learned an adamantine type cage ring system which, which upon elimination produces tertiary carbocation undergoes solvolysis to produce the hydrolyzed product and how this is happening? This thing in water attacks, so HOH water 
attacks here from this side and produces that final protein. So, and this is the rate of the solubilisis. And you can, the most important message from here that the bulkness at the adjacent carbon, this matters more compared to the bulkness of other carbon like this versus this. Here bulkness doesn't matter that much. But bulkness on this carbon for this rate is extremely, extremely high. So this is the end of the video. If you like my teaching, I request you to give a like and share this video among your friends such that many people will be benefited from my effort. And finally, uh, subscribe my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every new single video I upload. So see you in the next video where I shall explain eye strain, internal strain. Okay, so these two strains are very important for understanding. Okay, let's see you in my next video.